Now, climbing Mount Everest is an incredible achievement for anyone. But Harry Budamaga is aiming for new heights of endurance as he is hoping to become the first double above the knee amputee to conquer the 29,000 foot peak. Yeah, Harry was a Gurkha soldier who suffered devastating injuries in Afghanistan where he was fighting for Britain in 2010. Well, we had a chat with him earlier and uh, started by asking him how he got into climbing. I grew up in Nepal um, up to age of 19. Uh, so I grew up looking a mountain every day. Uh, so I, uh, I always uh, fascinated by mountains and uh, uh, because, uh, uh, you know, Mount Everest is in Nepal and we, we Nepalese are very proud of that as well. So uh, from, little, when, from little age, we're just educated that, you know, the tallest peak in the world is Mount Everest and uh, it's in Nepal. So, yeah. I was always fascinated, so that, that, that's always that's in my mind. That's love. It, yes. When I was in service and after I get, you know, after losing my legs, I was, when I was skiing in the mountain, I just look at it, and how are you going to go on the top? How are you going to, do you think, what equipment do you think you're going to use it? So that's always in my mind, so that's how it came, came to. And, to. and to get up there, you've got this special kit that we can see here. Um, you know, how long have you wanted to to do this, to do Everest? Since uh, 2018. Uh, but uh, at that time, Nepal government put a ban on double amputees and visually impaired. So we had to go to uh, Supreme Court in Nepal and overturn the rule. So it took for a while. And also Corona popped in. Uh, and sometimes we couldn't able to raise the enough fund to go and do it. Uh, so yeah, finally it's happening. It's happening for 70th anniversary yeah. of the um, um, uh, first summit. It's it's so extraordinary because you were talking about you skiing mm. after losing your legs and looking to to Everest and saying this is something that actually you do want to want to achieve, want to climb. Just ha how did you go from from losing your legs and then taking up some pretty extraordinary sports. We're talking kayaking, rock climbing. Just how did that help you when it came to your recovery? Initially, I thought that, uh, 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 you know, I was going to um, stay the rest of my life on the wheelchair. This is what I thought. I thought that I couldn't able to do. And I grew, grew up in the culture that uh, many still think that, you know, disabled peoples are burden of the earth and uh, it's a sin of previous life. Um, and that's how, how, how I was, I, f I felt sorry for myself. It's for a very little thing. I couldn't go to the toilet myself. I couldn't go to eat myself. I couldn't uh, have a shower myself. So initially, it's a one by one. Um, I, I did one, oh, I did the one. And I get a little bit confidence and did another one and did another one. Then after that, um, at one point in my life, I was, uh, I was uh, kind of half suicidal mode. And there is a charity uh, came and uh, said, do you want to go, go and do the skydiving? And said, um, yeah, yeah, I, I would love to. Um, because I, first of all, I never experienced the skydiving, so I wanted that. Second, second uh, my logic was to half of my body is gone. If another half goes, that's fine. You know, you know? So that's how it is. Then once I landed safely on the ground, actually, you don't have a legs, but still you can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And then after that, um, I went to play golf, which is, uh, uh, yeah, there are many charities like On Course Foundation who taught me how to play the golf. golf. So I did all in sports and adventures, kayaking, uh, pretty much you call whatever I can get it. So my aim was what can I do physically mm -hmm. after losing my both legs and injured my arm and some other injuries. So what can I able to do? And yeah. at the end, I found out that you can do anything. It's just a different way of doing the things. You, I mean, look, are you nervous about what's coming up? It's going to take two months, isn't it? I mean, how are you feeling inside? Uh, I'm very excited. Yeah. It's, I'm waiting quite long, honestly, uh, more than five years. So. But also, yes, uh, I'm a bit nervous. Make sure uh, all of my kits and equipments uh, come here and we ship to the Nepal Hi. and make sure nothing goes wrong on the mountain, like a avalanche or, uh, you know, earthquake or anything. So, so that, uh, mm. you, you know, we're successfully able to do that. And also weather, lots of things that I can't control. Either weather, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Harry, you are doing this to really raise awareness just to let people know that no matter what you're living with whatever disability you're facing you can truly do anything good luck 
uh, when you leave? You're leaving in, April, in March, right? Yes, Latest. I'm leaving in the March. So Good luck. It's all about mindset. Stay in touch. Let us know how you get on. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. for having me.